this brand, this model, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe mistaken, um, nope, this one's a self-testing. So that means that every certain X amount of time, whether it's 10 seconds, 10 milliseconds, however they have it wired up, the, the receptacle itself is going to self-test. It saves you from having to test this monthly because with your ground fault circuit interrupter, your GFCI, you're gonna wanna test it monthly. Same with your smoke alarms, same with other things in your home. If you say, hey, I don't have time to test all this junk monthly, uh, well, hey, give us a call. We're your professional Edmonton electrician, and we're happy to sign you up for a preventative maintenance program. Uh, we can look through all of the electrical in your home, give you things that, hey, this is urgent. Hey, this can sleep. And uh, hey, you know what? Down the road, if this is your forever home, maybe you should consider changing this out. Um, we'll get into more videos like that along the way. But regarding this 15 amp, 120 volt, ground fault circuit interrupter. You're gonna have the self-test feature, so you don't need to um, necessarily test it every month. It'll help you from, uh, from it'll help get away from that. Uh, on the other sense, you're gonna hit reset again. It's gonna restore power. These specific ones, I believe have, yep, they say right here. Don't know if you can see that, but it'll say replace if flashing. Um, right there, replace if flashing. So if your LED is replacing, uh, is flashing, sorry, then you need to know um, that you need to replace this GFI. It's telling you, hey, something's wrong with me and I'm not working for you the way I should. So call your quality Edmonton electrician and uh, let's get this changed out for you. Okay, so we'll put that back in the package here and we'll continue on. This one here that I'm showing you comes with a faceplate as they typically do, um, depending on how your supplier supplies them. This one here, the brand name is Leviton. It is again a 120 volt. This one is a 20 amp GFI. So this ground fault circuit interrupter comes with all the same other bells and whistles as the other one. It's got a line side of the outlet. It's got a load side of the outlet. It has a ground, but this one's good for 20 amps. So this one's rated for 20 amps. Now your breaker is designed to protect the wire on the circuit. It's not designed to protect your coffee maker. So when your breaker sees 15 amps, it may still trip even though this might be drawing, this might be rated for 20 amps, it doesn't mean the rest of your circuit down the line is. Um, as a quality Edmonton electrical contractor, we are happy to make everything across the board match and uh, do our job. If someone else is doing something substandard or something that maybe you think, hey, actually that's not right, give us a call. Uh, we're always happy to address your calls here at howerpower.ca. Um, Email us at info at howerpower.ca if you have any additional questions. But uh, fantastic product. We're happy to throw this in all of our customers' locations. Business, commercial, residential. Uh, we are your Edmonton electrician. That's what we supply. Getting into other issues, like we said we'd address. Um, how do I install a GFI? How do I install a ground fault circuit interrupter? Well, if you have an existing circuit, that's fantastic. You're gonna wanna verify your wiring is grounded. Uh, if it's not grounded, ground fault circuit interrupter can help you there. So your ground wire is gonna go clockwise around your screw. At your bottom here, some models make it dummy proof. You can see that line coming in on the top, that's where your copper wire is gonna go, your bare copper, and she's gonna wrap clockwise around this screw. It's got a number six screw head, depending on how what number you use, I might be calling it a number one screw head, but it's gonna go clockwise around your ground screw. Step two, your white wire, your identified wire, your neutral wire, depending on what definition you want to adhere to, that's going to go clockwise around your line screw right here. If you have your hot wire, then you got your black, maybe a red, depending on your situation, you're going to go clockwise around your hot screw. You have your ground side. Your ground side is coherent with your neutral side or your identified side. Your hot side over here is always going to be opposite your ground and identified neutral terminal side. Always. It's going to be your brass, and over here you're going to have nickel. Nickel. Your ground is typically going to be of the green color. Green, ground, copper. Copper oxidizes, it turns green. Empire State Building. That's how that thing goes. Uh, your load side, that's if you're going to pr protect multiple outlets from this device location. Power in, power out. Keep the, keep the yellow on there, because over time maybe this writing on the back will fade. However, regardless, your local electrician should know line comes in on the bottom, load out on the top. 
power comes in from the bottom it's a, it's a trade secret if you want to call it that uh, your panel in your basement lower than everything power comes in your bottom you're good Edmonton electrician will bring your power to your switches in on your bottom your power to your plug in on your bottom um, that's not to say they all do that you may encounter different scenarios if you do give us a call 780-935-0622 um, here it in here at Howard Power Electrical um, we're always happy to get rid of these this old junk and re replace it with something new and fresh with more questions here um, are all GFCIs the same uh, no no they're not you can have quality ones you can have old ones you can have degraded ones you can probably uh, I can't speak for this but you can go you can go to your dollar store local and get uh, you can probably get a GFI there I wouldn't I wouldn't supply a customer with that because uh, we can't warranty something like that but uh, they're not all the same Depending on your make, model, brand, manufacturer, you're all going to have different types of GFCIs. And that brings us to the four different types of GFCIs. Um, in your GFCI, in your ground fault circuit interrupter, you're going to have four different types, four different styles of ground fault circuit interrupter. You're going to have your breaker style. You can have a ground fault circuit interrupter breaker, depending on, again, your make, model, brand, manufacturer, panel whether it's Siemens panel, whether you have a federal panel, uh, whether you have Cutler Hammer, Eaton, maybe you have an old commander panel, you're gonna have uh, the possibility of having a ground fault circuit interrupter breaker. So when you go outside and you see, hey, my plug is in a ground fault circuit interrupter and it's outside, uh, or if you go to your kitchen and it's within 1.5 meters of a water source, that's Canadian electric code, then you're gonna say, hey, why isn't that one a ground fault circuit interrupter? Well, don't panic. Maybe it doesn't have to be. Maybe it's protected at the breaker. Check your breaker. If it isn't protected at your breaker, give us a call. We're happy to have a look and give you a free estimate for how much that will cost you to replace that and get your home wired safely and properly. Um, so you're gonna have your breaker type of ground fault circuit interrupter. Then you're gonna have your receptacle type of ground fault circuit interrupter. That's what we just went through there, 20 amp, 15 amp ground fault circuit interrupter, whatever the size may be. Then you're gonna have your third type, that's gonna be your portable type of ground fault circuit interrupter. So when you have your um, your hair dryer, that's a good example here. You're gonna have your hair dryer in your bathroom and you're gonna plug that into the wall and your, your plug of your hair dryer is gonna be huge. Maybe it's three inches by two inches, a pretty wide unit and it's got two buttons on it, a yellow one, maybe a red one. Um, that's going to be your test and reset button. Those typically are installed with ground fault circuit interrupters because a lot of the manufacturers of hair dryers know that they're going to be plugged in within 1.5 meters of a water source. And in order to help their customers, they're going to provide a ground fault circuit interrupter right on their unit. Um, they won't all have that. Um, they might have it depending on your situation. But regardless, that's a portable type of ground fault circuit interrupter. Your fourth type, uh, commonly missed type is going to be your extension cord, cord end style ground fault circuit interrupter. So that's going to be a male and a female. It's going to plug in. It's going to usually look like a yellow typical base, uh, again, with two buttons on it. You'll find these maybe if you're camping, maybe you find it connected to a trailer outlet and they're going to have the two buttons, typically yellow and red buttons. And for test and reset, they're all essentially operating off of the same principle when it comes to ground fault circuit interrupters. A test, a reset of five or six milliamps to ground. If you have a short circuit of a current, say you're in your bathroom, you splash water on this, um, it's gonna trip it. It's gonna trip it from hot to ground because it's gonna say, hey, there's current going from hot to ground right here, five to six milliamps, and it's gonna save you. You want that, especially if you're working outside, maybe, you're working when you're camping, maybe you're not working, you're just relaxing and you wanna enjoy the many benefits that electricity can bring you, whether it's music, lights. Um, furthermore, you always need a ground fault circuit interrupter in outdoor situations or within 1.5 meters of a water source within any structure or building. Uh, on your GFCI, you're gonna have those lights, green or red, depending on the make, model, brand, manufacturer, etc. Uh, your four types of GFCIs, in summary, is going to be your portable type that's going to be on your device, whatever it may be. 
It's going to be your breaker type. It's going to be in your panel installed hardwired. It's going to be your receptacle type installed within 1.5 meters of a water source or outside exterior application. Uh, your fourth type is going to be that extensions cord style type where you can have it as an adapter on many tools that they know is going to be used for an outdoor application. They will premeditatedly install a ground fault circuit interrupter on these cords. Um, a GFCI protects you from ground fault currents uh, that could shock you and lead to injury or further. Uh, we won't get into that. And the difference between ground fault circuit interrupter and ground fault interrupter is just the C. It's just an acronym. It's the same thing, ground fault interrupter, ground fault circuit interrupter. They are the same across the board. You're not buying a separate product. And a self-testing ground fault circuit interrupter simply means that it's going to test on a regular interval of time, regardless of you doing your monthly duty and pushing that test button and seeing if it's failed. As a homeowner or business owner or facilities manager, you want to routinely push that test button on that GFCI and see if it tests and see if it trips out. You'll hear a click and then you'll hit reset and then you'll hear another click and power will, will restore there, uh, whether it's in the shape of a red light or a green light, check with your brand and manufacturer of that type. As always here at your Edmonton electrician contractor, uh, we're happy to bring you the best customer service that you can possibly imagine. So stick with us. We're happy to bring you more videos and uh, take care Edmonton. Have a great day. Bye-bye.